So we're here at Lennar Connect, and I'm here with Matt um, Waddell, and he is with Member Services. Yes. Okay. And he has a quite impressive-looking Freescale demo, um, playing some HD video. So can you tell us a bit about that? Sure. Uh, what I'm uh, demoing here is uh, the Freescale low-cost board. It's uh, called the Quick Start, and uh, what's unique about that is it's uh, it's it's very inexpensive. Uh, this setup here, as I have it. Uh, it was about $150. Uh, it includes HDMI output, and uh, and what I'm kind of trying to demo is all the different things that are supported with this uh, platform. Uh, so, like the bootloader is on the micro SD card, the kernel and the root file system are on the regular SD card, and all these videos are running off of the SATA drive, uh, which is this is all publicly available uh, for download uh, via the uh, the Lenaro um, releases website, uh, and. Uh, um, I, the, basically, the demo is it's cycling through uh, just regular videos, and uh, it's uh, it's showing that it's keeping up with 1080p. And what's impressive about that is that there are so many. Uh, uh, it's that's a lot of data being processed through a, t a tiny little card, uh, and it's uh, it's 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 keeping up and uh, showing the uh, uh, the output. So, so can you tell us a bit more about the, the board in terms of the processor and the peripherals? And yes, it's an, a, a Cortex-A8, and uh, it's, um, it's a single processor. It's not like the Panda board, which is a dual processor system. So it is kind of a, uh, uh, it's a I guess for lack of a better word, it's kind of a stripped down system, uh, very simple. Uh, but uh, it has uh, lots, lots of the things you'd expect from a low cost uh, board, kind of like in the, in the genre of a Beagle board things like that, but it has uh, uh, two different types of SATA support. Uh, it has Ethernet, uh, two regular USB ports. Uh, it um, has a, a console, a VGA, uh, audio, and uh, then if you buy the optional daughter board, it has the HDMI. Uh, and then also on the flip side of that board, which you can't see from here, it's uh, a JTAG connector for debugging. So it really is a nice environment for uh, developing ARM uh, applications. Uh, and uh, the other impressive thing about this is I'm running Ubuntu desktop. Uh, the, you know, the video is, is being played from an Ubuntu desktop base. So, uh, so it's just regular uh, vanilla uh, Ubuntu. And if you want to, uh, if there's a package you don't uh, have installed, it didn't come with the Lenaro system, you know, app get uh, installed. And you you can have uh, you know more packages running. So uh, it's it's been I've really enjoyed working with it. It's been a very impressive little card uh, to, uh, to to play with. Um, and so I heard from someone that uh, this is using uh, GStreamer and this is just uh, vanilla Totem basically running yes, on. Yes. Yep. 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 It is vanilla. I I did app get installed. It, it wasn't. Uh, I, I shouldn't say that. I think it was. It came as part of the uh, regular just, uh, desktop install. Uh, but uh, you know, uh, anything I've tried to run, I've had really good luck with. Uh, you know, uh, I've, I've used this uh, Quick Start board to uh, run some of the schedule displays that you've seen around the halls here, and uh, some of the things there they weren't, didn't come pre-installed, and uh, it was very, very simple to install them. Uh, it's been, you know, like I said, it's been really easy to work with this this platform. And just anyone can go get these development boards, right? I mean, yep, you can go. Uh, they're actually you sell them on uh, DigiKey or Freescale. Uh, just go to, go to their website and uh, type in Quick Start, and uh, you'll you'll see these boards, and you can buy them. Nice. And uh, there is, uh, you know, they're very well supported too. Not only from Lenaro, but. Uh, they're supported from other um, di distributions. So, uh, you, well, uh, you know, this is running the full Ubuntu desktop, but a lot of people, when they're developing, they want to uh, run a more light operating system. Like, uh, we have a, 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 um, a root FS called Nano, and it has, like, the bare minimum to get to a shell prompt. And, uh, and, and then from there, you can install whatever you want to uh, get the board, to, to, to work with the board. And uh, where should people go to get these uh, Lenaro images and find out more about Lenaro? Uh, well, uh, www.lenaro.com. And then from there, it'll direct you uh, to wherever. You, you can go, you know, to get the actual software to install. Uh, there's the, the latest and greatest is called Snapshots. And then there's releases. Uh, or there's, you know, you can go, uh, if you want to play with uh, the latest kernels, you can get them from the Lenaro. They'll direct you to the, uh, the Git repository. So you can build your kernels if you want to uh, 
if you want to go that deep, if you want to be modifying the actual kernel, then you can get you can get that too. It's all available. Nice, nice. Um, is there anything else you want to tell everyone? No, if uh, you know uh, if there's any questions or if you want more information, uh, if you send a uh, an email to uh, support at lenaro dot, uh, dot org, lenaro dot com, uh, then it'll come to me, and I'll be able to ans answer your question. So. Uh, yeah, uh, and we're more than willing to help. Our, our members love it if we uh, if, if we help people uh, work with their with their um, systems. Nice. So that's uh, Lenar.org. Support at Lenar.org. <laughs>